Hello, in today's video, we're going to talk about how you can get rid of all those pesky user shares out there on your file servers and turn those into my sites, taking advantage of the powerful SharePoint functionality. We're going to do that using the File Share Librarian, a new feature inside of SharePoint. So let's actually go and take a look at our file share that we're going to be using. So I have all of my user folders. Now in my case, there's only a few just for demonstration purposes. Uh, in your case, there can be hundreds or thousands of these that you would, you would need to pull into SharePoint. Going back to Central Administration and File Share Librarian, I can create a new configuration. We'll call this one My Sites and tell it where those folders actually are. In my case, this is a regular C drive, but you can also put a UNC path on here. We want to validate that it can find those drives. It can, and you can see that it lists out those folders we just saw. I can do some exclusions here. So if it finds various file types, such as MP3 or, or that kind of thing, it can leave those behind. Next, I need to give it a target where that information will be put inside of SharePoint. I can see my My Sites web app, My Sites database, and My Site host location. So I will select that. Now it senses that it's a My Site, and it will tell you I'm going to create a My Site in the destination container using the subdirectories that it finds, one for each user, etc. And you can also tell it what various uh, parameters to use, how those usernames are structured, etc., and where to put those files in personal documents or shared documents or to create new document libraries inside of that My Site. So we'll go ahead and put it in shared documents, tell it to use four threads, run the job on this server, and we'll go ahead and catalog that file share now. Now it's going out, scheduling that timer job, saving this configuration, and ensuring that everything is working according to how it needs to work. This will return control to the user once it schedules all that and sorts it out, and we can go over to the job status page. Now we can exit out of here, close this, and go over to our job status to watch this progress. We can see the My Sites job is running. It's currently 0% complete, but we can keep refreshing until that is 100%. There it's three. Now we don't want to wait here forever, so we'll zoom ahead to when this is complete just to show you how everything looks. It's complete, and we can click on the summary to see that it processed 13 folders and 216 blobs no errors. If we view, we can see that it created the personal sites and we should be good to go. Let's flip over to my my site. Once there, we can say where's my content and we should be seeing all of the content that file share librarian pulled into my personal my site. And there we go. I can see all the content that's there. Even see the storage point details as to where that's at. And I can see where it's at as well as the folder it's in. But we also have other users created. And I can see I'm logged in as Rob Dioria here. Look at that my site and my content, and we should see that same there as well. So now you've seen how File Share Librarian can help you quickly take advantage of SharePoint while at the same time getting rid of all those file shares just sitting there. I hope you found this useful.